but I think when you make music, you're always kind of thinking of what your legacy will be. And I, I always like to think of, man, I'd like to have made something that was cool 10 years ago and will be cool 10 years from now. And, and when you kind of see things that have stuck around to make it through, you're like, okay, that was, that was done right. We did it. Granddaddy called a princess, kind of fair called a queen. High school called a cum laude, most likely to succeed. Her daddy's back with crazy, she got two sick football brothers. You take one step onto that front porch, you one crazy motherfucker. But she will leave her breathless, I gave her back road in this town. She'll love you like a Sunday drive, but she'll take your poor heart down. Dead man's curve, dead man's curve, no redemption, no return. Good God, I might have gone to crash and burn down dead man's curve. Dead man's curve, dead man's curve Country boys ain't never gonna learn Nobody ever makes it through that turn Dead man's curve, dead man's curve Every man's been tempted But braver men have tried At best you'll wind up dinner If you're lucky enough to survive Now some cheese, the finger that you wrap around cheese Whatever country song's about cheese It's your trouble that you're looking for She gonna take you down and leave it coming back for more Dead man's curve, dead man's curve No redemption, no return Good God, I might have gone to crash and burn down Dead man's curve Dead man's curve, dead man's curve Country boys ain't never gonna learn Nobody ever makes you do that turn Dead man's curve dead man's thinking about gear whether it's recording gear or instruments i always go vintage if you went back to early 50s and you bought a telly most likely it will pick it up and it will look and play like this and this is built very much to spec people have tried doing different tuners they tried doing different scales they tried different pickup positions and it just always goes back to those original instruments because they're just tried and true we grew up uh, with a very musical household, and we, there was always instruments around. Both of our parents wrote songs. We would always sit in uh, this shed that was out back, and we would make recordings of like pretending we were on a radio station, and just the whole thing, and songs we had written. And, um, and so we constantly grew up around that. And then our dad would record his originals, and, and then we'd have people over at the house, and they would set up the microphones, put speakers up, and just kind of put on a show, or they would play original music. As a guitar player, I would ob obsess about certain guitar players. And then I realized the closer I got to sounding like them, the best that I could ever be was second, because you have a person that can perfectly replicate Stevie Ray Vaughan. He becomes the guy that sounds like Stevie Ray Vaughan. You don't want to do it too much because you want to have your own voice, you know? And, and songwriting is similar. You don't just want to copy other people's lines, but you learn from them and then you find your own voice. and. I equate it to um, an accent, you know, you listen, you're around a certain group of people for a while, you'll start to talk like them a little bit. And then you go around a different group of people for a couple of years, you'll start to talk like them. And then throughout the years of just being around a bunch of different influences, you create your accent. And then Brothers Osborne, I think, just has its own accent. A lot of people will talk about our influences and be like, man, this song sounds like this, this sounds like that, or there's a little bit of influence here and there, and they're all over the place. And at the time, we don't realize that, but they, Almost always when someone hears a little nod to something, it's some, someone we're usually a fan of. So, um, and we grew up listening to all of that. Inevitably, it comes out. I think it's awesome to be here in RCA. Hey, I mean, there's obviously, there's a lot of history here, but there was also the, the history of the fact that they wanted to tear this place down at some point in time. 
We used to live three or four blocks over yeah, from really here, far. and I just loved passing. I just loved thinking, man, of all the people that recorded in there, you know, from Willie and Wailing to Dolly Parton, you know, it has certainly stood the test of time. I mean, this is, you know, kind of where the soul lives in the Nashville music row sound. And I think it still has the same mojo as it ever did, if not oh, more. absolutely, yeah. Don't give me that look. They let me down easy smile The white block couldn't see you coming for a hundred miles Don't try to find the perfect word You can't take the pain out of the hurt Hit me hard, baby, I can take it It's your move, go on and make it Make it burn all the way down In my six foot four inch ass down on the ground Yeah, tomorrow a heart hang more than one pill of a heart aches Pour on like a shine on the skid And shoot me straight Got some friends who love to go race some hill A couple of flames to help me bid you farewell There's plenty of time and alcohol From happy ever to last call Gotta do so I can get in love with you and make it burn and hold it down. Lay my six foot four inch ass down on the ground. Here tomorrow I'll have me a heart hang more than one pill of a holiday. So put on like a shallow stick and shoot me straight. Don't give me that salt shake the red line Don't give me that come back chase of this time Don't wall it up, don't wall it down Give me everything you got right here right now And make it by Now, 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 now